guys and welcome to day two of your fossil advent calendar. So for today's video I'm going to be talking to you guys all about gastropods. Now gastropods for those of you who don't know simply are snails. So you guys may have seen a snail before so they are still living today but they have existed since the Cambrian time which is 500 million years ago. So Gastropods have lived for a very long time and are still thriving today. So there's many, many thousands of species of different types of gastropods. So I'm not going to go into massive depth of all the different types, but I will talk to you about a few types. And one key thing about gastropods is that they can live on land. You might see them in your garden, for instance, but they also live in the sea and they also live in freshwater environments. So they're not just marine, which unfortunately makes them very bad paleoenvironmental indicators because if we find them in a rock, they don't tell us what type of environment was existing when that fossil was still living. So we like fossils that are kind of confined to a certain type of environment because it can help us reconstruct what that you know area was like all those millions of years ago. But with gastropods, because they can live here, there and everywhere, it's a bit more tricky to do so. So I have got a few examples to show you guys. I actually found these gastropods here in France, which is kind of exciting. And then I have another example to show you that is uh, from my university. It's a microscopic sample so you can see it with the naked eye but it's very small so um, I managed to film down the microscopes for you so I hope you enjoy that but uh, let's do some show and tell here are some examples of gastropods. Now I found both of these types in France. So as you can see, these ones look very different to these ones. So this form is called planispiral and this form is called conispiral. So you can see that they're very different to one another, but they are both in fact gastropods. So you can find very different forms because of all the different species. It's just like ammonites, they vary quite a lot. Um, so these are just some examples that I thought you might like and I can flip them over for you guys. So these um, planar spiral ones are quite flat, whereas these ones kind of come out more. So these are quite, you can see, like that, but yeah. So now I'm going to jump to the microscope room and we can look at another example together. So this is the piece that we're going to analyse under a microscope. So as you can see, there's a nice gastropod in there. It's not very big, but it's also not microscopic. So using a bit of a magnifier just helps. So bear with me, I was holding my phone um, to try and film down the microscope and it's quite a hard thing to do to actually keep steady. So hopefully at some point I'll get something that attaches to the microscope, but um, apologies for the uh, quality sometimes it's uh, with blur etc because uh, it's just really hard to get my camera to focus but you can see it's a really nice example of a gastropod it's got loads of whorls like it's really detailed but it's tiny so it's really nice to be able to look at it a bit closer and um, see it so I hope you guys enjoy taking a look so that's all I got for you guys today. I really hope you enjoyed this video and are excited for tomorrow. Please like and subscribe for more. My social media is linked down below if you'd like to see even more fossil content. And um, yeah, thank you so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you next time.